Hey, Michael with X-Force PC here. We've had some customers in the past complain that X-Plane looked a little washed out or faded or hazy or not very vibrant, um, all those types of things. And, you know, we've um, tried, you know, messing around with the visibility settings and so forth. But then Tom, I'm giving full credit here to Tom Campbell, my... Uh, compadre here at X-Force, he, uh, he found some settings in the NVIDIA control panel that really seem to make a difference, at least on our monitors. Now this will vary from monitor to monitor. So let's take a look at sort of a before and an after scenario. Okay, so this is the before. Now you might be seeing some little dots and noise on the screen. That's just a consequence of using a camcorder to record another monitor. So try to ignore the little dots and noise that you might see. Those aren't actually visible to my eye, but the camera picks them up. So this is vanilla X-Plane. This is just how it comes uh, as is. And this is what we were looking at here in our store uh, whenever we looked at X-Plane. And so we have an identical monitor, all three of these monitors are identical, that we've made the adjustment on. So this is the before, and then I'm going to pan over here to the after. This is after the adjustments were made. And again, ignore any noise or little dots and pixelation things you might see, because again, that's a consequence of recording a monitor with a camcorder. Um, so there is the after, and then now we'll talk about what we did to achieve this. To me, it looks a lot better, and uh, hopefully it does also to you. Okay, so now we're back out here at the Windows desktop, and where we make these settings changes is in the NVIDIA control panel you see here. And over on the left, it says, Adjust Desktop Color Settings. Now, one thing I'll say is if you change these settings in here, they affect all of your programs. So if you're using this system for email and word processing and so forth, you may not like these settings being turned on all of the time um, because they do make uh, the colors seem, in other programs, a little overblown or hot, for lack of a better term. Um, but they make a nice result, at least in X-Plane, in our opinion. And, uh, you know, this is all very subjective. Now, uh, in the NVIDIA control panel, it's control, it, it controls each display individually, and that's nice if you're, not all your displays are the same like ours. And so you just click on each display, and you can change the color settings, and the normal setting is other applications control color settings, meaning that the program you're running has control over the color settings, not NVIDIA control panel. But what we did on the center display is we said, nope, we want the NVIDIA control panel to control color. And so what we did, or what Tom did, is he upped the brightness to 72%, the contrast to 70%, he turned the gamma down a little bit, and he upped the digital vibrance to 100%. I think that's probably the biggest change right there. Now this, your mileage will vary. This will depend on your displays. Your displays may look perfectly fine. You may not need to do any of this. Or your, or the changes you make down here might be totally different because each display is different. These displays um, that we're using here tend to lean towards that grayish washed out look and then you throw X-Plane sort of grayish washed out look on top of it and it makes it kind of a, a stark, you know, kind of thing. You really notice, and you probably saw that on the previous clip. So there's where you make the changes. Thanks, Tom, for finding that. And some of you will find that helpful. Some of you will not. And do know that anytime you want to change it back, you just click on, click on this little radio button that says Other Applications Control Color Settings and, and just put it back to the way it was. And do know you have to make the setting change on each individual display. So hopefully that helps. If you like the video, like it. If you really liked it, then subscribe and maybe even hit the little bell to remind you anytime that we have a new video coming out. Thanks for watching.